What if I told you that you could write Laravel code this clean and expressive? I'm Harris from Laravel News, and today I'll be showing you exactly how to build this with Laravel's custom collection methods. Let's dive right in. We have all written controllers like this. So this controller is, is doing way too much, right? It's calculating business metrics, transforming data, and handling presentation logic. And good luck, we're using this logic anywhere else. Custom collection methods are going to solve this beautifully. Let's die and dump the result. So we're going to have the total revenue, the average order value, total orders, and average orders per customer down here. If we refresh, we can see it in the browser, very straightforward. And we're going to try to change this, use custom collection methods, and solve this very beautifully. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the custom collection class in order to house our business logic there. So let's go ahead. We're going to add a directory inside our app. So we're going to name these collections. Then we're going to add all our custom collection methods in here. So the collection that we have is going to be named order collection. So class order collection. Perfect. And this one is going to extend the illuminate collection, of course. Let's import that. Simplify. Nice. Okay, so let's go back to our controller and remind ourselves what we need to do there. First thing we have is the total revenue. So the total revenue in this case is just a sum of the orders based on the total. Let's go and move that out of the controller. So let's go to order collections and let's create the public function total revenue. And this is going to be a float. And again, we're going to return this sum of the totals. Perfect. Next thing here is the average order value. Same thing again, but with the average instead of the sum, right? So average order value. Again, this is going to be a float. So return this average total. What we will have next, the next one is the total number of orders, which is just the count of the orders. Let's go back. And instead of having this as a standalone function, we're going to consolidate this into something called business summary because we would like to get all of them together, right? The total revenue, the average order value, and of course, the total number of orders. So we're going to create one larger function. It's going to be called business summary. And then this is going to be an array in this case, the result. Perfect. So we're going to return an array. But inside the array, what do we want? What would we like to have inside this array? So total revenue. It's going to be the total revenue in this case. We have it up here. Well, then the average order value. This to average order value, which again is going to be the average order value function call we have up here. And last but not least, we would like to have the total number of orders. So this count. Perfect. As you remember, we're extending Laravel's eloquent collection up here. So we get all the standard methods plus our custom ones. Now let's connect this to our order model using Laravel 12 clean attribute syntax. Let's go ahead and do collected by, and then a parenthesis here. And what we need here is our order collection. So order collection class, and we need to import both of them. So we import the collect by and the order collection as well. Perfect. So this attribute tells Laravel to automatically use our order collection whenever we query orders. So when I call the order all up here, for example, you'll see that I get back our custom collection with all our methods available. So let's call orders, which is orders all. Let's go to the browser, refresh, and you see we have an, an, a collection of order collections instead of actual collections. And we have all the order models in here, which is what we would like to have. So each of these will have our methods available as well. Let's add one more method to show how this grows. So going back to our controller here, you're going to see we have one more thing we would like to have, you know, available. So we have customer orders counts, which is basically we group by all the orders based on the user ID. And then we map those orders and we get the count out of those orders. And last but not least, we get this result and we get the average. So we actually get the average orders per customer in this case. 
So we would like to add this in our collection as well. Let's go back to our order collection down here. And let's create a new function called average orders by customer. So let's go average orders by customer. And that in this case is going to be a float as well. So float perfect. Let's return now. And what this is going to return is going to be exactly the same like before, but here we can add more functionality. So we are at some safeguards here. First one is if this is empty, what we would like to do in this case is make sure that we return average as zero. So average will be zero in this case. Perfect. So next thing we add down here is exactly the thing we had before. So if we go back to the controller, we see first one is that we group by user ID and we map to get out the count. And last but not least, we get the average. So we, I'm going to copy that here inside my method and I'm going to change this here. So instead of orders, we obviously need to mention this. So this group by based on the, uh, group, on the user ID, then we map those orders and we get the counts out of them. So same thing, everything else doesn't change and we just return the result in this case. So now we have our average orders by customer function as well. And this basically answers, you know, how many orders does the average customer place? And it builds on our existing foundation. And you can chain these methods together as well if you would like to. Now let's go back to our controller and mention those methods instead of the, this mess we had. I'm going to remove everything else except from the orders, order all. And we're going to mention the function we have inside our custom collection. So first thing is, actually let's add them this into an array so we can see the results. So we're going to mention them. Um, we're going to name them stats in this case. So stats is going to be, it's going to be an array, right? So first one is the summary. So we're going to have here, uh, the orders business summary, like we had it in our custom collection. So business summary, as you can see, we also get autocomplete, which is pretty cool from the our ID. Next thing is the average orders per customer. So average orders per customer. And this is going to call the average orders by customer. Let's then dump this out and see the results so far. Go back to the browser, refresh. And as you can see, we have the exact same results like before when we first started. And we have them with clean code in this time. So we get the summary and inside the summary, total revenue, average order value, total orders, and the average orders per customer, exactly the same values. Look how clean this is now, right? much cleaner than before. So its method has single responsibility, but they work together in this case. Now, last but not least, what we can do is we can return the view. We're going to have the dashboard here and then the array of our values. So and we're going to close that because you already saw that, right? And then in this case, we're going to copy these here and add them here. Perfect. Let's remove the stats. We don't need it for now. And let's see this beautified result, right? Our controller went from complex calculation machine to simple and elegant coordinator. And all that business logic is now reusable everywhere. Every APIs we have, any commands or anywhere you need it. So custom collections method transform messy controllers into clean and expressive code that reads like plain English in this case. They make testing trivial and promote reusability throughout your application. So in the next episode, we're going to take a look at advanced query scopes, which is the perfect companion to custom collections. Hit that like button and subscribe for more if this cleaned up your code and see you in the next one.